Okay, but when I come right in here, now it's gonna track. This is the Galileo indoor home security camera. Let's open the box and put it to the test. We have the cable, we have the screws and the bracket. If you wanna install it on the wall or on the ceiling, you can do that. We have the power adapter. So apparently we can pan and tilt. In the back, we have a speaker for two-way audio. At the bottom, we have a USB Type-C port for the cable. And underneath, you can use the bracket or even don't use it. Let me just install the app and power this on so we can test it. We can see the video feed in the app. We can change the resolution. We have a 2K resolution and we have a SD resolution. I'm gonna leave it on 2K. At the bottom, we have the speaker. So when we turn it on, we can listen to the surrounding of the camera. We have the call button. So if I press that, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello? Hi. Hi. So when I use the call function, that's basically the two-way audio. And we can talk to the person or to your kids, to your pets, however you like it, using this function. We can also record the video. So when you record the video, it will record on your phone. And we can stop recording. And it's going to go to the gallery. One thing I forgot, we can actually install a SD card underneath here. So as you can see, there's a slot right there. So when the SD card is installed, if we record any motion, it's gonna start recording on the SD card. And we can also capture some pictures as well. If you wanna take pictures. It's and that's that, at the bottom we have the alerts. So alerts is basically the motion detections. We don't have any motions right now. And we have the console so that we can actually control it using the console. Panning. Let's see how far does it pan. That's pretty much 360 degree pan. That's pretty good. We can come back all the way. Yeah. So we got 360 degree pan. Let's see how much tilt we have. We don't have much tilt. Apparently the tilt is only 50 degree. It's not bad, but it's not much as well. In the console, we have a star on the right. So if I click on the star, so it saved the position. Okay, so I get that. So when I come down, maybe go left. I'm gonna start that one as well. Okay, so now I have two save position. Let's go to the position. I have two positions. So if I just click on it, it will go to that position. And that's a pretty good function because sometimes you wanna just monitor the certain angles and you don't have to go to the console and do it manually by hand. You can just uh, save it and go to the position and it's gonna go to that position. Cool function. We also have a siren. Let's test the siren okay so we have an option to trigger by motion so every time it dete detects a motion it will sound the siren let's see if it's gonna detect motion the motion is not activated turn on the siren all right the siren is not bad i mean it's not super loud but it's something uh if you want to i don't know wake somebody up and we have the camera on we can oh it's a privacy mode so we can turn off the camera so we can turn it on here that's just for the privacy and we can enable right there let's go to the setting we have the invite family and friends so that's a pretty good function so if you want to share this device with your family members or friend or your security you can do that here just go in there and invite them with the link and we have advanced settings we have a standard mounting okay so we can just ro rotate if you if you install it on the wall or on the ceiling you come here and change the position i'm just going to leave it on the standard we have an intelligent tracking so it does track okay that's good so i don't know how does it track though it's kind of slow i'm not sure if it's okay we have something here oh okay but when i come right in here now it's gonna track okay so if it detects a motion it's gonna start tracking that's not bad I'm guessing that motion uh, tracking is not really super accurate, but that's something we have. We, uh, that's not bad. I mean, it's okay. That's what we have here. That's okay. We have a local application. Okay, so we can actually connect it to your local network and stuff like that. I'm not sure what it is. We have a privacy setting. 
uh, camera timed off oh we can schedule to the camera to be turned off and we have a privacy area we can turn off the microphone okay if you don't like people i don't know if if it gets hacked or something i don't know if the hacker is going to turn on the mic anyway so we have a motion detection we have an area so it's a full area for motion detection we have a motion alert so every time it de detects a motion it's going to send us a notification so that's what we're gonna get for the alerts we have a cloud storage cloud storage is paid so you can get that if you want to and we have a light and night vision so this camera has a light vision so we have an infrared as well i'm gonna leave it on auto so auto basically means if it gets too dark it's gonna turn on the infrared light and it's gonna be black and white but if you have some light it's gonna still capture in color let me just turn off the light here okay we got switched to the infrared light let me record the video so right now we are recording in the infrared mode and it's pretty good i mean it's a good i mean try not to switch to infrared if you have some sort of light it's doing a pretty good job just to capturing the light i mean that's pretty good okay and now we are in the infrared mode again i like it that's good yeah i did a pretty good job just illuminating the area let me just uh, listen to the audio and see how's the audio now i'm recording okay now i'm testing the microphone so one thing to mention when you are trying to record uh, on your phone the speaker should be on if you want to record the audio if the speaker is mute it's not going to record the audio so that's something to consider so that was a test for the security camera and at the time of this recording it's 26 bucks on amazon with 33 percent discount the full price is 40 bucks even though it's not bad this camera is not perfect but for the price i think this is a pretty good deal i mean we have a decent video quality uh audio quality is not that good but it's okay for this price we have a two-way audio we have motion detection we have a 350 degree pan uh the tilt is not perfect either uh but that's fine i mean still for this price this is a pretty good deal i would say we have a night vision that was a pretty good uh, option as well but overall i would say it actually worth the price we have a lot of features that are packed in to this camera if you have any question let me know uh and i will answer them in the comment section i'm gonna also link it down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video